This is part four, the testing phase of my tri-fuel conversion kit. If you want to see part one, click on the top right. If you want to see part two, click on the middle right. And if you want to see the unboxing of the parts that I use in this conversion kit, click on the bottom right. Please subscribe and let's get started. All right, so I've actually removed this red plastic piece. Um, I've actually forgot the videotape um, that I put pipe dope on this three quarter inch adapter, which takes it from three quarter inch down to half inch. So I just put the pipe dope on there, um, tying it up with just a pair of pliers. The next thing that I want to do is work on this regulator. This is a pressure um, regulator. And you can see here it has a quarter inch um, threads on this side. And this adapter which actually screws into the actual propane tank. This is just a cover to protect that. So I'm going to put a little pipe dope on here and tighten it up. And then on this side, there's another adapter that this is um, half inch that was screwed into here. I have to put some pipe dope. And once it's on there, the hose will attach here like this. And then the other end of the hose will attach to the on-demand regulator. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and work on that. my pipe dope. Now, this is the half inch. So, right now, I'll just hand tighten it. And then I'll take a pair of pliers. Tighten this down. All right, so that's that side. And what I'm going to do is allow this to dry for at least um, 24 to 48 hours. Even though the instructions on this tube says you can actually use it right away. So this is the other side, it plugs into the propane tank. And then I'll tighten this up too. Oops, a little bit too big. Still too big. There we go. There we go. Tighten on both sides. So now I will let that dry for a day or two. If you want to see what it looks like up close. All 
All right, so now that this pipe dope is dried up, I can actually hook up the hose. and tighten it up. There we go. And take the other end, turn it into here. Tighten this up. All right. Now I can untake this cap off right here, and I can plug this into a propane tank. Which is actually right here. They're actually reverse. See it tucked up there, goes through the pressure. Into here. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is actually test, make sure there's no leaks. So I'm gonna turn on the gas. I actually do not smell anything, which is a good sign. Then going to take some little spray bottle with soap in it, spray it down. Do not see any leaks. There's a great sign there. Then I'll come over here and do the same thing. See any bubbling? All right. Now I'm gonna press the release in the back. I smell gas now. I'm just gonna prime the system a little bit and check this one. Don't see any leaks there. And 
I don't see any leaks up here. Which is a great sign. And one last test. Just try to get in there a little bit. Make sure there's no leaks there. Looks pretty good. Oh. You see that right there? But that's okay. This is the, the I can just tighten this down. And just screw that back in. It's still coming out there. Hmm. I wonder what you can do about that. Definitely coming out. You can see those bubbles right there. Wonder what you're supposed to do about that. Good thing I tested for leaks because if you take a look at this adapter, take this load adapter off. There's the threads inside, but there's actually a hole right there. You see it? There's a piece of metal and then above it. Oh, right there, I'm going to have to return this, this adapter. Turn this off. Unscrew this. So now this adapter piece at the top with the pressure release um, has a leak in it because it wasn't made correctly, it wasn't machined correctly. I'm going to have to remove it. So I'm going to undo this bad boy. 
going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull this off. on there pretty well. Maybe. If I'm lucky, I can wiggle it off. There we go. No bad time. I want to break it. There we go. Take the adapter off. Make sure none of this crap falls in there. There we go. Got it off. Let me see if I can focus into the issue of where it's leaking. Leaking. See this little extra cut up here? That's where it's leaking from. So as I screw this in, like so, it's actually leaking from up here. I'll first go to Home Depot, see if they have anything like this, otherwise I'm going to have to call the manufacturer and get a new one. Thanks for watching my video, please subscribe to my channel. To see part 5 of me hooking up my generator to my whole house propane tank, click on the top left video. Please subscribe and like my videos.